say? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Oh, f hang on. Get the bilge pump handle. You may have noticed it's dark. Uh, that anchorage at St Ives, or this anchorage at St Ives, is bloody horrible. So we're leaving now at midnight to catch the uh, flood tide up to Padstow. Uh, short clip because we're pulling the anchor up. I really love sailing at night. There's something magical about being out on the ocean in the dark with a few scattered lights in the distance indicating some distant shore. But it's not so much fun when someone comes up on deck to tell you that there's water coming up over the sole boards. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Oh, get the bilge pump handle. Where's the bilge pump handle? Yeah, it's alright. Going. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank God for that. Right, let me explain what's happening. We found a lot of water in the bilge. Tim came down to use the toilet and found that the floorboards, the sole boards are actually afloat. Uh, well, not afloat, but they've got water over the top of them. We've pumped the bilge and we've managed to get all the water out. So at least we know at this point, we are able to stay on top of that, uh, that leak. Um, wherever that water's coming in, next job of course is to find out where the bloody hell it's coming from be back in a little bit let's just get on top of this for now watch your feet watch your feet yeah i can see it's coming i can see it's coming from down the exhaust try that bilge pump again me this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, that's empty again now. Yeah, that's empty. basically the joint between and the exhaust baffle uh, one of the jubilee clips uh, has come loose or something uh, but it looks like the plastic pipe has actually melted a little bit as well so there's water just pouring in from there so the good news is the water is not coming in from a leak it's coming in from the uh, from the outside from the um, the water pump so if we stop the engine the water will stop coming in we've just got to stay on top of that leak now and make a decision do we keep the engine running or do we stop the engine and just sail the trouble is we've got to make padstow in time for the the lock uh, gate and we can't afford to miss that bear with us eventually of course dawn broke spectacular and majestic having things go wrong in the dark is somehow a lot more intimidating than it is once the sun comes up for the next few hours we plugged away pumping the bilge 10 pumps every 10 minutes as we slowly made our way up the coastline. Things seemed a lot less daunting once we'd figured out that we weren't actually sinking and everything was going to be fine. So 
we set off this morning from um, uh, St. Ives because the anchorage was horrible. Uh, we, none of us were getting any sleep. And we set off at midnight. Uh, half the hour more at the anchorage at about half, half to hour actually. Uh, and we're on our way up to Padstow. We've had a bit of a problem on the way. The, um, the water baffle on the exhaust on the engine uh, is leaking water. So the engine, we're not, we're not sinking, there's no leak, but it's pumping water because we've got a raw water-cooled engine, of course, directly into the bilge. So we're fine, but every now and then we just have to give the hand bilge pump the whale a few pumps just to empty out a litre or so of water, which is a little bit kind of uh, something else for me to fix when I get to Padstow. But hey, it's fine. If I stop the engine, and we just sailed completely, then that would be fine and we wouldn't have any problem. So here we are in Padstow. Um, should really have done this this morning, but everything was a little bit frantic. We had uh, um, a water leak from the uh, exhaust uh, baffle, so we ended up with quite a lot of water in the bilge, which we pumped out on route. So it wasn't a big problem, but I fixed that today anyway. Uh, and now we've got an oil leak behind the oil pump. Again, it's not a big oil leak, and we can top up the engine and it'll be fine. But it's, uh, it just seems to be a never-ending battle. But that's the problem with these old engines. She'll get a new engine soon enough, as soon as we can afford one. But um, here you go. Here's some bits and pieces from Padstow uh, in the evening. Tattoo there. Oh yeah, it's your tattoo. Water. Show, show on your tattoo. High water Tuesday. High water Tuesday, 6 p.m. What day are we on? What? What day is it now? Oh, that's a good question. Don't ask me. <laughs> so the plan is tomorrow we're leaving up at six, leave at seven, yeah. plod down the estuary and set a course for Dale. 71 miles. If we can average five knots, it's 14 hours. Yeah. If we average three knots, it's 24 hours. But the donkey will go on. Even the, don it's got a little the donkey will go on, even though it's got a bit of an oil leak. Yeah. Um, so we will average five knots. We will do it in 14, 15 hours, I think. Yeah. Uh, and I but there was only two in the place at the shelf next time. There's about five of them put together. She could bleed, that's why she never stayed. Why be naked in the night and looking for some play? Just another girl who wants to rule the world at any time or place. When she's 
she gets into your head, you know she's there to stay. Tune in next time as we make the longest passage of our journey covering more than 70 nautical miles from Padstow all the way across the Bristol Channel, passing Lundy Island on our way up to Dale and Milford Haven. Uh, remember to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support us to continue making these videos, you can go to our Patreon page and help us out that way. Just click the link in the description.